Hey guys, it's Merce. Welcome back to Harpies in the Trees, where I review horror books with a supernatural focus. So today I have something completely new and different. I am going to be unboxing a subscription box called Creepy Crate. This company reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in receiving a box and doing a unboxing video and also giving my honest opinion about the product. I said that I would and one of the reasons why is because it does come with a book. So I am interested to see what this is about. Um, I do know that it comes with a book, like I said, I don't know if it's a new release or an old release, if it's independent or mainstream, no idea. Um, I don't know what type of extras that they have in store for me here. Um, I'm hoping that it's, you know, cool stuff that I can actually use and it's not just like a bunch of tchotchkes that I, I don't really have any, I don't know, connection to or interest in, but you know, those things are always kind of a mixed bag, so we'll see. They did send me a code that I can share with you guys if you guys want to purchase this box. I think it's like 10%. Uh, I'll put that information uh, somewhere on the screen and also in the description box. So let's begin. So this is how it arrives. It arrives in this very graphic black box. You can see it comes with a lot of different motifs here, um, like the crystal ball, a planchette, skulls, axes, hands, all that kind of stuff. I really like that. I think it's pretty cool. And I have my ceremonial unboxing knife, as you know. I think it needs to be sharpened now. I think this tape is getting to it. All right. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. It has this black packing uh, paper and obviously a spoiler card on top. So this is the spoiler card, but let's just save this for the end. And the first thing that I see here is a pen. It's a metal pen. And it, oh, it's very cute. It has a coffee mug with a bat flying out of the cup amid the uh, steam of the coffee. Oh, that's very cute. I like that a lot. The book, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, cool. It's a Darcy Coates book. I love Darcy Coates. If you guys have watched my channel um, for a little bit, you'll know that I do love Darcy Coates. She is the queen of just creepy cozy. Her books are comfort food for people who love the haunted house trope. They, they follow a generic trope, but the stories themselves are definitely not. They're really cool to read. They're interesting. She cares about her characters a lot. It's definitely a slice of ghostly pie. And I was just talking the other day about how I need to buy more Darcy Coates, and here it is. I can't believe this. Darcy Coates, Voices in the Snow, a black winter novel. Let's go ahead and read the back. No one escapes the stillness. Claire remembers the cold. She remembers abandoned cars and children's toys littered across the road. She remembers dark shapes in the snow and a terror she can't explain. And then, nothing. When she wakes, aching and afraid in a stranger's gothic home, he tells her she was in an accident. He claims he saved her. Claire wants to leave, but a vicious snowstorm has blanketed the world in white, trapping them together, and there's nothing she can do but wait. At least the stranger seems kind, but Claire doesn't know if she can trust him. He promised they were alone here, but she sees and hears things that convince her something else is creeping about the surrounding woods. Watching, waiting. Between the claustrophobic storm and the inescapable sense of being haunted, Claire is on edge and increasingly certain of one thing. Her car crash wasn't an accident. Something is waiting for her to step outside the fragile safety of the house. Something monstrous, something unfeeling, something desperately hungry. So the synopsis definitely sounds different than the other Darcy Coates books that I read. This sounds like it might be, it might be a monster type story. Maybe it's not exactly a supernatural tale. I'm already really into this imagery um, that's being mentioned here in the synopsis. So I'm pretty stoked on this. I have to say I'm very surprised that I would actually get a book by a writer that I like. It's so crazy. I feel I just wasn't expecting that. Darcy Coates, Voices in the Snow. Okay. 
Now it looks like we have a notebook. It has um, what looks to be like some type of a cipher, and I think that is the the sign of the Zodiac Killer, maybe? I'm not sure if I'm right about that. That's cool, I can always use notebooks. I love notebooks. Looks like it's a t-shirt. <laughs> I love dairy. <laughs> that's, okay, that's pretty cool. I already saw myself wearing some like 80s mom's jeans with this right now, so I'm already pretty <laughs> excited. That's, okay. So Creepy Crate is actually kind of doing an awesome job at this point. I think this is a, so this is a keychain, I think, of charms, and all of the charms are a man hanging from a rope. So that's, that's interesting, it's five of them. Oh, wow, this is neat. This is a die. And instead of numbers, it has carved skulls. It looks really good. I mean, I'm sure it's resin and whatever, but it looks really, it's actually really, really cool. I love this. Oh, I wish there were two. Is there another one in there or is it just one? <gasps> no, there's two, there's two dice. Okay, so there's two, you get a complete set. These are so awesome. They look so cool. I am. I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked about what's happening right now. Okay, so this is cool. I love this. And I think that's it. I think that this is really interesting. I'm really, I don't know. I, I guess I was thinking that it was gonna be like, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff that I didn't like. <laughs> I think that's what I was expecting, but this is really cool. I love these dice. I think these are like my favorite thing right now, besides the Darcy coats. So let's go ahead and read this spoiler card it says journey to the dark side with this month's crate of terrors with two horrifying new reads a stephen king inspired t-shirt and gifts that will make your next game night extra spooky this box will haunt your nightmares for weeks to come one voices in the snow by darcy coates the first installment in coates latest series is sure to give you the chills when claire wakes up trapped inside winterborne hall after a horrific accident that she can barely remember her only companion is the owner of the gothic home <laughs> okay that's like that, that's getting me worked up okay that sounds really good <laughs> Two, the I Love Dairy t-shirt. Stephen King's favorite locale is getting a new resident and it's you. This beautifully terrifying t-shirt rips on one of the King's most sinister creations, Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Three, Zodiac memo book. Break the code, note your grievances, or simply intimidate those around you with this notebook emblazoned with the Zodiac Killer's encrypted message. Ooh. I would like to say that I could, you know, decrypt it, but. If the best of the best struggled with this, I'm sure that I'm just gonna keep this as a, I don't know, some creative collateral or something. <laughs> Four, Sleep My Child Forever ebook download. So we get a printed book and also a ebook. All Creepy Crate subscribers this month receive an ebook download of John Costin's true crime classic. Check your email for downloaded instructions. Five, one of the two winged pins of horror. So it must be this one, the coffee and the bat. Whether it features a midnight black cup of coffee or a flying book of death, oh, I wish I got that one. Um, your new pen will be the perfect companion for your jean jacket, tote bag, or backpack. I still love this though because I am a, a coffee addict, um, <laughs> but the flying book of death would have been so cool. Six, the undead horde keychain. Okay, I guess that's this right here. Share the undead with a friend or keep it all to yourself. Oh, okay, cool. That's a great idea. I do have some people in mind already. This macabre keychain will keep your keys closed when the zombie apocalypse breaks out and the undead horde comes for you. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna be thinking about my keys. <laughs> and last but not least, Dice of Death, set of two. Anyone up for a deadly game of chance? Whether you are risking it all or rolling your next move, you're sure to spook your gaming companions with these grinning dice. I have to say, I am really 
pleasantly surprised and I love everything that I got. I can't believe I got Darcy Coates who I just adore. So this was this was really cool and I actually like this t-shirt like I am such a picky person but it's just like nice and simple and it's gonna look pretty cool I think. So that was the creepy crate unboxing. How I, how cool is this? Like I just, I'm really, I don't know if every box is gonna be like as pleasing or if you know, every time you get something, it's gonna have at least one thing that you really want. But even if they don't send me another box for another sponsorship, I think I would definitely would like to get this box on my own. It's, it's pretty fun. I don't know what the, you know, I don't know what it's gonna, the next boxes will be like, if they'll be as cool and interesting for me, but this one was really great. Like, I, I don't know, I have like no problems with it whatsoever. And like, like I said, I'm really picky with clothes. So this t-shirt just being like what it is, is awesome. It's just simple and it's something that I actually will wear. The dice I think is like my favorite thing here. Um, the pen with the coffee cup and a notebook and you know, the Darcy Coates thing, like, can't go wrong. I'm pretty happy. So again, if you guys want to get this box too, they did send me a code you can use to do the 10% off. Um, so get on that if that's what you'd like to do. Um, but yeah, so that was it. I had a lot of fun. I hope everything is going well with you guys. Be sure to subscribe and like and comment. Tell me what you guys think about this box. If you've had this box before, is it something that, you know, do you get cool stuff like this all the time? Thanks for hanging out with me tonight and I will talk to you next time.